so let me give you a quick demo of PostLab. PostLab allows you to put your Final Cut Pro libraries under version control and really work together on projects. Having all your libraries, documents and issues in one place. PostLab has a group structure with access rights through different roles. You can set up exactly who can do what within your group. An administrator can delegate who can add members to the group. Within a group you can create PostLab projects. A PostLab project can contain multiple Final Cut Pro libraries and documents. This structure is very flexible and can adapt to almost every workflow. When you open a project you'll see it appear in the left menu. You can obviously open multiple projects at the same time. In a project you start with the activity view. Here you can see exactly who did what and when. You can also add your documents for a project. For example your voiceover or translation documents. Simply double click to open them. These documents are also under version control. So you can easily see what has changed. You can also add issues to a project. Issues can be tasks or a discussion. As you can see I've been assigned an issue here. It's a question to look at the ending of the library final cut. You can have multiple libraries and within this project there is a library pre-cut and a final cut. So let's open that library and have a look. This library is not on our computer yet so let's download it first. In this library view you can see some extra information about this library. You can see the size and there is a quick check for files that are offline. Under this button there are some extra option what you can do with this library. You can also change the description here into whatever you like. Then you've got two buttons. With the open read only button you can open the library quickly just to have a look. With start editing button you'll check out the library to create a new version. Below that you'll see everything that has happened with this library. Every row with a star is a version that you can return back to. Or if you want you can export that version. When you click on start editing the library gets locked and Final Cut Pro will open the library. No one else will be able to start working on this library until you've uploaded your work again. Other users wanting to work on this library will see a message that you are working on this library with some contact details how to reach you. As you can see all the libraries within PostLab are not allowed to contain media or cache. Now with the library open notice that even the playhead is at the same point when the library was last uploaded. For demo's sake let's make a quick change to the ending. Now when you're done editing go back to PostLab. Notice the red dots. They mean that you're working on that project and on that library. You're not allowed to quit PostLab until you've uploaded your changes or cancel them. When you upload your version you must describe what you've changed. This way your co-workers can know what has changed, by who and when. Also when you need to go back a version you know by this description what the library state was. So let's describe what has changed. Notice that when I upload the library it is automatically closed within Final Cut Pro to prevent you from working on it without checking it out. Also notice that you've just created a new version of this library. You're always able to go back to the previous versions. But even after that you're still able to go back to the current version. You won't lose work here. Now let's tell my co-worker that I've changed the ending. So how to create a library within your PostLab project? You'll have two options here. You can create a new empty library or import an existing one. Keep in mind that you'll need to have your cache and media removed before you can upload it. When you create an empty library you can also choose between different templates. PostLab has a simple templating system built in. This way every episode can have the exact same setup and it doesn't matter who created it. It's also possible to add a web service. This is simply a link to a website that you use for this project. For example a Frame.io site. Or it can be a link to your media in your MAM. This way you have everything in one place, save on a server, that you can access everywhere, anytime. So that concludes this quick demo. I hope you've liked what you've seen. For more information go to postlab.app.